When you're the world's second biggest palm oil plantation company and you're feeling the pressure to be more sustainable, what do you do? You build a research facility. Or at least that's what Golden Agri Resources has done. Uh, the objective of the company is to produce uh, oil, sustainable oil, uh, for the world demand, whatever the consumer wants to use this oil for, whether it's for food, whether it's for energy, or whether it's for cosmetic or any other purpose. Palm oil is a vegetable oil derived from the fruit of, unsurprisingly, oil palms. Most commonly, the product is used as a raw material in food production, cosmetics and detergents. But in recent years, it's grown in popularity as a source for first-generation biofuels, such as biodiesel. That is the base brought down to biogas by using a bioreactor, which is a completely biological process by using mesopelic uh, bacteria to decompose the forming and break down uh, the waste water to generate maintain gas. Maintain gas in a captured, uh, purified and used at our gas engine to generate power. Biofuels have become an attractive alternative to fossil fuels because they release fewer greenhouse gas emissions. It's accumulate carbon in the form of the trunk and in the, in the biomass in the, in the, in the canopy. Uh, every year the palm oil is able to capture about 11 tonne of carbon, meaning about 40-44 tonne of carbon dioxide per hectare per year. Still, some are critical, saying that with the global population predicted to expand to more than 9 billion by 2050, growing biomass for biofuels is increasingly unrealistic. We need food and we need fuel. There's no getting around that. The solution is in developing them more sustainably. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.